Greetings one, greetings all. Hello. How are you today? Hope you're well on this uh, Tuesday, on this 2nd of February. Uh, you probably know, you've probably heard already, it's Groundhog Day. Um, which of course has a very different meaning since the, the film, was it in the 1980s? I'm sure it was about that day that repeated and repeated and repeated. Well, now when you hear Groundhog Day, you hear think of that probably. I think there's a lot of us feeling as if we're living a bit of a Groundhog Day existence at the moment. But it's also, and more importantly as far as the church is concerned, it's also Candlemas. The 2nd of February, 40 days after the end of Christmastide, Epiphany, we come to this um, really quite uh, little festival of the church, commemorating the presentation of Jesus at the, the temple he's taken. Uh, it's one of the rituals, the passage of rites of the Jewish faith. He's taken to the temple by his mother and father ritual of purification for Mary and he's presented and of course there he meets the prophetess Anna and Simeon, two old people, old man and old woman. Simeon waited all his life on the promise of God that he will see the Messiah, God's chosen, God's anointed before he dies and he's waited all this time on the promise. I love the story. Um, it just plays with my imagination this man who has waited all this time and i think of all the people who've probably sniggered behind his back and pointed at him as he comes as he walks along the street saying look at that old fool waiting on a promise that he'll never see come he makes his way to the temple each day he says his prayers each day the prayers of his people and then one day this this family appear just a an ordinary family there'll be hundreds there and yet, Simeon can tell there's something different. He sees the child and he knows the promise is kept and he sings the song that's recorded in Luke's Gospel. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all your people a light for the revelation of the Gentiles and for the glory of your people Israel. A light for the revelation of the Gentiles and for the glory of your people Israel. And of course that's where Candlemas um, really gets its focus because traditionally on this day candles, the candles that would be used in churches and for some people in homes would be blessed reminding us that Christ is the light of the world. So on this uh, Groundhog Day that you may feel is repeating itself again and again and again, know that the light of the world shines. That though it is Groundhog Day, it is also Candlemas. Take care everyone. Have a good Tuesday. Take care. Be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. And God bless.